big gambler's shot, paper. Thank you. Hey, bam, paper, big gambler's shot while resisting arrest. Uh, Excuse me. In a minute. Thank you. We have ashtrays. Oh, excuse me. We're all filled up. Uh, I imagine. Nice hotel. Thank you. Looking for a man. I think he lives here. You're not sure? Name is Johnny O'Clock. Johnny O'Clock. That's a funny kind of name. Does he live here? Never heard of him. How about Joe Finch, Phil Briggs, George Baker? I thought you were looking for one man. I am. He just has different names. Perhaps if I described him to you. I'm sorry. I really haven't time. Oh, well. He's about six foot tall, dresses very well. Dapper, you might say. He's in 1514. Thanks. You're very cooperative. He never gets up till 9 o'clock. I know. He works very late. Doesn't like to be disturbed. I wouldn't dream of it. I'll wait. Got lots of time. Johnny, time to get up. Good morning, Charlie. Draw the curtains out the sun, will you? What does it look like? Rough. I think it'll rain. Uh, I wish I could get a good day's sleep. Breakfast in there. I already had mine. Yeah. I wonder if this will mix with orange juice. Some things don't mix. What's eating, Charlie? Well, come on. What's eating you? Certain things. Like what? She called you a little while ago. Yeah? Chump. In certain matters, Charlie, stay on your side of the fence. Hey. Where do these come? About a half hour ago. Nice stuff, huh? I like the striped one. You like it? Tourist. Thanks. I got a present for you, too. She brought it up herself. When? A couple of hours ago, you were asleep. What did you tell her? What she told me, too, that you weren't in. What did she say? Nothing. <clears throat> Just for me to give it to you. That's what she called about, to see if you got it. Do you want me to repeat it? I heard you. Now, oh, a trigger happy cop, that blatant. Always with a gun. Fifteen fourteen, please. Any mail for me? Johnny. Bladen? Written all over you. We'll take a walk, you'll talk, and I'll listen. There's somebody to see you. I left something in the room. He's in a hurry. Koch is my name. How do you spell it? C-O-P? Uh, the lady, I prefer to talk to you alone. I'll wait for you outside, Johnny. No, 
I've got no secrets. Well, it has to do with a policeman named Bladen, Chuck Bladen. Okay, wait for me outside. Bladen's a friend of yours, isn't he? Everybody's my friend. This man, too? I knew him. Have it. Bladen's in trouble. Serious trouble. Trouble? He's a cop. He won't be one much longer. You're his business associate, aren't you? Now you're guessing. Well, shall we come to the point? I'm way ahead of you. You've got a very quick mind. Your flower, Mr. O'Clock? How much of those have got? Two for a quarter. I'll take a couple. Yeah, take it out of this. No, no. It's all right. I make it fresh every morning. All right, shoot. Question number one. No questions. Proposition. I wonder what it could be. Simple. In return for certain information, you'll do what? I'll give you a break. My arms or my legs? Mr. O'Clock, from what I know about you, you're a man who looks at a situation, says what's best for me, and acts accordingly. That's right. That's why the answer is no. Is he in trouble? Do you care? Mr. O'Clock. I'm sorry you're taking this attitude. I really am. We could be useful to each other. Me to you, not you to me. The young lady. You haven't introduced us. I'm on a blind date. He hit me. Bladen hit you? Why? I don't know. He got mad at something. I tried to reason with him. That was your first mistake. I'm full of mistakes. I wish I could... Oh, easy now. He laughed at me. He said... What? What did he say? He said for me to go to you to tell you. Oh, is that what he said? Johnny, I never knew anything like this could happen to me. All right, it's over. No, it isn't. At least not for me, it isn't. What'll I do, Johnny? Blow your nose and wipe your eyes in the order named. Don't kid with me. What do you want me to tell you? How to get to the nearest subway. Come here. I've been there. Come here, I said. Look, kid, you gotta grow up. When a thing's over, it's over. Not for me. I'm not like you. Will you help me, Johnny? Will you? Sure. Outside. Where? In the alley. You gonna see him now? Get me Fleming's hat. He's a dealer on wheel two. Did you see him? Get the hat. Do you want me to go with you? No. Take this into my caddis's office and then get Fleming and haul him there. Go on. Answer me, Johnny. Bladen's outside. I'm gonna see him now. Johnny, maybe I ought to. Oh. Go check the coat, baby.
Hi, Eel. You've been reading my mail. Just the evening paper. There's a story in it about a trigger happy cop. You. Also been entertaining your friends. I didn't know I had any outside of you. Don't let it go to your head, Chuck. Two people came up to see me about you. Harriet and a, a guy named Koch. Also in your line of business. Koch? You're not interested in the first party? Frankly, no. And treat her right or let her go. You sound like you hold the first mortgage. You know that isn't true. Then why don't you mind your own business? I ask this in a friendly way. Kid don't know whether she's coming or going. Take a message to her. Tell her she's going. You afraid to tell her yourself? I'll tell her. That's fair enough. Only don't start up with her again. I tell you this in a friendly way. You don't need to worry. She don't fit in with my plans anymore. Hmm? Huh? Running? No, why should I? Marquettis is raising my bet. He's taken me in as a full partner. Hmm. Does he know? He will in a little while. I'm just waiting for him to show. He's got a partner. You? He had one. You mind if I laugh in your face? That's the way it's gonna be. Me and Marquettis, the grease ball and me. Want a bet? Look, Johnny. You know me. You get in my way. I'll kill you. You took the words right out of my mouth. your hat? Yeah, what about it? I'm trading it for your coat. What is this, a new game? Maybe you need a little help. Okay, you win. Ah, it's a nice gimmick. Oh, the guy who makes them. You just work here, you know, you're not a partner. Okay, save the chatter, I'll get out. Yeah, go on back to work. No use firing you, just have to hire another dealer. Might be smarter than you are. So smart I couldn't catch him. Go on. Takes a thief to catch one. Nobody ought to know that better than you. I called you. I know. Did Charlie... I got the watch. Do you like it? Not enough to keep it. I gave it to you for old time's sake. You're getting it back for old time's sake. Hello, Johnny. Hi, Guido. I thought you say you meet me in the bar. I came in here to talk to Johnny. That's all right, isn't it? Sure, honey, that's all right, sure. Glad to see you, Johnny. Glad to see you, Guido. But now you're a back. <laughs> now that Johnny, he's cute, eh, Chuck? All the time he kids. Sit down, Chuck. Your chair, boss. Yeah, Chuck, all the time he kids. How we do while I'm in Mexico? We do fine. That's what I expect. How was the trip? Oh, fine, fine. It's a nice place, Mexico. Reminds me of the old country. It's magnifico. That means in Spanish, it's terrific. I buy a lot of nice things there. Beautiful. When you come up to the house, I show them to you. Yeah, that's a nice place, Mexico. I think we could open a spot there. What do you say, Marquez? That's light. Oh, honey, I got a little business. Okay. She's all right, eh, Johnny? All the time I'm away, she thinks of me. I'll meet you at the bar. Wait a minute, honey. I want to show Chuck and Johnny what you give me for a welcome home present. She had it special made for me, Chuck. Must have cost plenty. How you like it, Johnny? It's beautiful. Thing like this has to be special made. Show us where I stand with Nell. You know how you stand with me, Guido? Sure, I know, but I want everybody else to know. You're a lucky man. You think I'm a lucky man, Chuck? I always have. What do you think, Bill? I think I'm thirsty. 
Chuck here meets me in the alley. He says he's got business with me. You in on this, Johnny? No, he's not in on it. That's all right if he sits around and listens. No, it's not all right. Let me touch you on this guy. Go ahead. Unload him. I listen to what he's got to say. So you're on, Chuck. Sure, I'll see you. You give us both the same kind of watch. It's like buying us both arsenic. I didn't think about it when I bought it. I had to buy you something. Who said you had to? I had to. <laughs> ah, you play very cute and nasty. Either way, you can't lose. I can lose. Take it. You know I never take anything back. Excuse me. Give me a pencil and piece of paper. Yeah. Johnny, did you see him? Yeah, I saw him. What did he say? This uh, case here. Yeah. See that Mrs. Marquettis gets it. Oh. All right, I'll see that she gets it. What about Chuck? He said he'd talk to himself. He must have said more than that. He's in with Marquettis now. I'll probably send it for you in a few minutes. Johnny, tell me now. Okay, you're through with him. You mean he's through with me? You want to take my advice? No. Then don't ask for it. What were you going to say, Johnny? Don't see him anymore, not even tonight. He's no good for you or anybody else. Now listen to me. All right, I'll listen. Good. Johnny, where do I go from here? We'll talk about that tomorrow. Hey, look. The man's coat. Well, don't throw it away. Are you crazy? It might fit me. Well, we can hock it. Maybe get a thin. All right. Hold it over the fire. Let's get it dried out. Maybe we can get more. What do you got there? A coat. Where'd you get it? We didn't steal it, did we? No. We fished it out of the river. It was floating down. Look, it's wet, dripping wet. You're the proprietor? Mm hmm This coat. You want it cleaned? Rick wants it cleaned here. This is your serial number. Serial number? I'm not responsible for spots like that. What is it? Blood. Huh? Who brought this coat in here? Why should I tell you? Business good? Fair. A murder? Could be. A woman brought it in to be cleaned the other day. A woman? Yep. There's her name next to the serial number. Harriet Hobson, address... Now I remember. This coat belongs to a policeman. How do you know? Because when she brought it in, the badge was left in the pocket. I remember I chased after her. I don't want to be responsible for badges. Policeman. Mm -hmm. Harriet Hobson. Thank you very much. Let me know if it's a murder.
the man? I'm the landlady. Open the other window. This is Koch, homicide. In the wagon over, 52 and a half Beaker Street, apartment 8. Suicide. Yes. Hmm? No, no promoter. Too late. Out, 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 baby. Get out of here, baby. Did you see her when she came home last night? No, I did. Was she alone? No, she had a man with her. And if you ask me, I think they were both drunk. Did you describe the man? No, his back was towards me. How should I know what he looked like? Besides, I stay in my own apartment and mind my own business. Does she live here alone? Yes. Any relatives? I don't know. She came here about six months ago. She rented the room. A man paid the rent. This the man? Uh, yes. Would you say this is the same man came home with her last night? No, I don't think so. Besides, his back was towards me. And I stay yeah, in my Yeah, I know. You usually stay in your own apartment. Thank you very much. That's all. No more questions. Everybody out, please. Hurry. No more to see. Outside. Charlie. Morning. Oh. Good morning. This could develop into a nasty habit. Charlie. What gives? He stuck his foot in the door. <laughs> Looks more like he stuck it in your eye. Coppers, all the same. Always with a strong arm stuff. If I meet this monkey without his badge. Lay off him. You I don't like. Get out of here. You keep bad company, Mr. O'Clock. Late hours, too. Speak your piece. Your blind date. What about her? Her name was Harriet Hobson. What do you mean, was? She's dead. Come again? Committed suicide early this morning. Yes, I was the one who found her body. Suicide. I think she'd do a thing like that. When did you see her last? Leave me alone. Your grief is very convincing, Mr. O'Clock. Get out of here before I knock your brains in. You knew her well? Yeah. Very well. Can you think of any reason why she should have done it? I can think of a couple. Blade and one of them? He didn't check in this morning. Seems to have disappeared. Did you look in the gutter? Did you say the river? No, I didn't. Thought you did. You've no idea where he is? No, have you? Yeah. I got a lot of work ahead. Not that I know anything about this, but... Uh, do they usually put a detective on... An inspector. An inspector on a suicide? And I'm not investigating a suicide. No. I'm looking for Blade. Oh. Sure you don't know where he is? You said you did. I said I had an idea. You know, I'd hate to have to arrest you on suspicion. Look, friend, you can shove Charlie around, not me. I once got a ticket for passing a light. And that's all that's on my record. I know you've been a very careful young man. But I don't believe everything I read. According to law, the young girl's body has to be identified. I'll do it. No relatives? She had a sister. Sister? Where? I don't know. She's off the road someplace at the show. Name's Nancy. Nancy Hobson. Check with equity. I'll do that. Hey, if you run into Bladen, you'll let me know, won't you? Yeah, sure. I'll let you know. Glad it didn't break. Charlie's very clumsy. Yeah, very clumsy. It's going to be a hot day. Hmm. Very hot. <clears throat> Hey, Charlie. Charlie. 
I want to ask you something. Where did you go when the club folded? Out. Was that all right? Did you see Harriet before you left? Was I supposed to? I just asked you. No, I didn't see her. When did Bladen leave? I'll find out for you. Skip it. I'll find out myself. You keep bad company, Mr. O'Clock. Oh. So that's what it is. You can shove Charlie around, not me. Shut up. You know the way I meant it. No, tell me. If I have to tell you, it's no good. Maybe it ain't. Oh, don't get your gauge. I'll put some beef on that eye. Fill him in, young. What time are you getting up? Oh, early afternoon, about three o'clock. I'll wake you. Twenty-two years old. Twenty-two quick years. Yeah, I made some coffee. Thank you. I, uh, I found this. You can never tell landladies, reporters. Thank you. She didn't have very much money, did she? Why? You, uh, you didn't notice this. Look in the back. To my darling, with unending love. Bladen wrote this, didn't he? Could be. When did you see your sister last? Oh, must be almost a year. Did you write to each other? Yes. Often? About once a week. Did you ever mention Bladen in her letters? Yes. She said that she was going with him. That was about six months ago. She wrote you she was in love with him? Now that I think of it, I, I don't think she mentioned that. Did she ever write you about what she did? No. Did you ever mention any other men in her letter? Why? Johnny O'Clark? Yes. I thought that was a very funny name. What did she write you about him? I don't remember clearly. Something about his helping her to get a job. Oh, yes, and that he was very good to her. He was very good to her? This man, Bladen, where is he? I don't know. Who does? You might ask Johnny O'Clark. Mind if I keep these for a while? No, but mine. Where can I get in touch with you if I want you? I don't know. Here I guess. Here? A room is a room. You're all right. Yeah. Hard as nails. Nothing ever moves me. Now get out of here and let me cry by myself. Same town, another horse. What did he do, Bill? Run dead last. Hey, Johnny. There's a doll outside. She wants to see you. She says to tell you her name is Nancy Hobson. All right. Punchy. Yeah. Did you see Bladen leave the club last night? Me? I never see nothing. I'll be back. You're right. I don't trust you. nice to my sister. She was a nice kid. I... What? 
I don't know what else to say. Want to come in? Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Come on in. They're setting up for tonight. Lush. Sucker's money. What are they use for bait? Kids like my sister. You got it wrong. You sure? Sure. Hey, Johnny, will you take a look at the new wheel? All right. Come along. That's a beautiful instrument, the roulette wheel. You say that like you'd say, that's a beautiful woman. Do I? Okay, Bell, set it up. Want a drink? No. No, I do. You talked me into it, huh? Two of the usual. Hmm, that's slow down and mean. You want to change it, I'll drop a nickel in the slot. <laughs> Leave him be. It's the way I feel. About my sister. What do you want to know about her? Anything. What she did, what she said, who she saw. What's the use of beating your brains out? You would too if you felt about her the way I did. If you knew down deep in your heart, part of it was your own fault. She was old enough to know what she was doing. Old enough, not smart enough. I knew that. I knew it when I left her. But do you know who I was? Nancy Hobson on the road to fame and fortune. Out of my way, everybody. I made it, too. Fourth from the left in a traveling girl show. You can tell him to stop playing now. It's bad for my eyes. Hey, you with the hands. Go home. Now tell me where I can find Chuck Bladen. Why me? I was told you might know. Who told you? A detective named Koch. What would you do if you found him? Cut his heart out. Yeah, you're just saying that. All right, so I won't. So I'll tell him off. So I'll spit in his eye. Look, these things happen. A girl falls for a guy. It didn't have to finish the way this did. She walked into it with her eyes wide open. It was all right with her. You seem to know a lot about it. She used to talk to me a lot. Anything else you want to know? Anything else I ought to know? Close the book. She was a nice kid. Let it go at that. The words don't go with the music. Goodbye, Mr. O'Clock. Goodbye. Hey, uh, how long are you going to be around? I'm leaving tonight. Oh. See you sometime. Maybe. Kid in Mexico drew this. Young squirt, no more than about 16. He spots me coming out of the hotel. He says, Senor, you have such an interesting face, I'd like to draw you a picture. Imagine a young squirt about 16 drawing a picture like that. What do you think, Dick? How much it cost you? What's the difference? It's good, eh? How do you like it, eh? It looks like you. I'm thirsty. Punchy, get her a drink. Turn it up, I want to hear. The man can't hear himself again, think. I got a bet going, Turk. Two dollars on the nose. If I win, I'll have spending money for the week. This boy is cutting up, and they're off. It's Sandy's boy going to the front. Shooting star is second. Larkspur third. 
At the quarter, it's Sandy's boy by three lengths. Larkspur is second by a head, shooting star third, a length on the rail. Into the stretch, it's Sandy's boy by one length, and going to a drive. Larkspur second, a neck on the rail, shooting star third, and here comes Seabreeze in the middle of the track. It's a driving finish. Larkspur and Seabreeze, Larkspur and Seabreeze, head and head. And now it's Seabreeze taking the lead. At the finish, it's Seabreeze by three quarters of a length. Larkspur a half a length, Sunbonnet Sue and Mercury. How did you do, Mrs. Marquettis? Hmm? You win or lose? I don't know. I know. Boss? You know Turk, don't you, Johnny? Yeah, sure. Hi, Turk. How are you, Johnny? Sound like the favorite got a bad ride. What can you do with those monkeys? You can't prove it by the horse. Turk's here for the big poker game. Yeah? You gonna play, Johnny? I never gamble. How do you like this, Johnny? Kid in Mexico made it. A young squirt. No more than about 16. That's right. He spots me coming out of the hotel. He says... Senor, you have such an interesting face. How do you like it? It looks like you. You two been rehearsing. What's on your mind, Johnny? He... He came up to see me. Yeah, what goes? You told me you'd be alone. All the time he kids. I hear you've been looking for Bladen. Yeah, for free, huh? He give that hat check kid a bad deal. About last night, Johnny, I'm taking your advice. I'm unloading Bladen. You like to see the things I brought back from Mexico? You know, Turk, that Johnny, he's got good taste. If he says the thing's got class, it's got class. How long are you going to be in town, Turk? Long as the game lasts. Me and Turk were talking over old times. I've been telling them how many years we've been together, all the things we've been through. You remember, Johnny? Yeah, I remember. That's why I know I'll never have to worry about you. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I, I, I choked on a piece of scotch. <laughs> Punchy, repeat. You punch drunk idiot. Let him alone. He works for me. Then put a ring in his nose. It wasn't his fault, it was mine. I dropped the glass. I dropped it because I'm drunk. I always drop glasses when I'm drunk. I drop a lot of glasses, mister. Nell. I don't like for you to act that way in front of people. You got a way out. When I want it, not you. You ever let go of anything? When I'm through with it. <laughs> Stop it. That's all right. They'll think you said something funny. You did. In front of people. You can give me a kiss. It'll make you look good in front of people. late. If we're going to make the fights, we'll have to eat early. Hey, Johnny, do me a favor, huh? Huh? Stick around with her for a while. Maybe take her to dinner, maybe a show. Do this for me, huh? Okay, you know it's done. Thanks, Johnny. Come on, let's go. Hey, you. Who asked you to stay? You did come up to see me, didn't you, Johnny? Sure. Couldn't stay away from you. You know why he left us here alone, don't you? You afraid of him? <laughs> you heard him tell about how many years we've been together, what we've been through. Ah, uh, Johnny, baby, he'd be the first one to stick a knife in your back. They're already. I can feel the blood sticking to my shirt. Yeah, there's something going on I don't know about. What I don't know, I don't like. You can help me. Me? How? Find out what Bladen and him talked about last night. Find out where Bladen is. And if I do? I'll owe you a favor. 
14 carat. You're a 14 carat heel. All you ever think about is yourself. You and me both. Get out. I was never here. All right, so I flew off the handle. Look, we don't have to kid each other. I never kidded you, Johnny. No, I was money from home for you till you met Mark Ellis. I told you the way it was. You didn't have to tell me. With that fine, conniving mind, you decided to fall in love. What'd you expect me to do? Just what you did. Marry Mark Kettis for what you could get out of it. It wasn't enough. Rings on your fingers, bells on your toes. That's what you wanted, and that's what you got. It isn't enough. It was your deal. You made it, and you'll stick to it. Things change, Johnny. Oh, stop playing us off against each other, Nell. It won't work. What are you going to do about it? Oh, you won't tell him, Johnny. I know you. You'll play it safe like you always do. That's right, Nell. I'll play it safe. And that's why you got the watch back. What'd you say I got back? The watch. I never got it back. Well, I gave it to Harriet, the kid in the check room. I never got the watch back, Johnny. Well. You the new hot check girl? Yeah. I'm Johnny O'Clock. Oh, Johnny O'Clock. Can I be of any help to you? Not right now, no thanks. What you looking for, Mr. O'Clock? A package. What size? Big, small, medium? It was a small one. A jewelry box. I left it here. Why? My God, I'll never ask you. But you did ask me. Did you find it or didn't you? No, but I'd like to try, Mr. O'Clock. Thanks. Glad to be of service, Mr. O'Clock. When did you get out of college? College? chances. Who were you expecting? Oh, Chuck Blade and I thought maybe he might come up here. Did you expect to find him in the, in the dresser? I was looking for something, something I'd uh, loaned him. How did you think you'd find it here? You're still shaking. Sit down, have a cigarette. I've got to catch a plane. I'll get you there on time. I've got my car outside. How did my sister meet Bladen? I introduced her to him. Over your jitters now? A couple of more drags. What's that? It's your corn. Mexican corn. Hmm. Brand new one. I'm ready. Is this all you've got? Yeah. I uh, hope it didn't break anything when you dropped this. If it did, I'll uh There's nothing in there of any importance. Oh. What's the matter? My arm, you heard it. I'm sorry, I... Let's get out of here. If I stay here another minute, I'll bust wide open.
It's all right. I know you now. Thank you. What are you doing? Later, if you don't mind. I won't tell nobody. I can keep a secret. I'll come in later and tell you all about it. The landlady's mad at you for smashing her window. Cost her money to fix it. She'll be paid. She's awful stingy. Must be very interesting to be a detective. It says here there was poison in her stomach, too. What does that mean? It means you're a very nosy woman. Now, will you get out of here and let me work, please? All right. Handle it yourself, then. Do you want to? You hungry? I could eat. go through that again? But four. I already know what's in it. <laughs> well, what are these? Did you ever eat here? No. You'll need them. What'll it be? Oh, small steak. Two. They'll be small. Does that go with the dinner? He's a good customer. If you don't like it, keep putting nickels in the jukebox. Well, load the thing up and put it on the check. Mind if I whistle too? In a different key. You've seen it before. I don't think so. Atmosphere. Look, Mr. O'Clock. Johnny. Johnny. Yeah? In an hour, maybe two, that plane will be taking off. So? So keep it funny. I can use the last. And this. Don't you drink? I drink. Now, give me a cigarette. And a light. And a question. Personal? It's the only kind I ever ask. Got a guy? Had a guy. Split up? He was killed. Accident? Yeah. The war. Oh. Now, that's enough out of me, period. How about you? What do you want to know about me? What do you want to tell me? What I want you to know. <laughs> You're cagey. Does that go with being a gambler? No, I'm not a gambler. A gambler's the guy who takes a chance. You never do. Took a few. Never take a chance, you never know. What do you know? You always lose. Learned that when I was a kid. What were you like when you were a kid? Cute. What were you like? <laughs> you felt that nice. Oh. oh, I'd better call the airport. I'll do it for you.
Hello, operator. Get me the municipal airport, please. Hello. What's the deal? Any planes going on? Thanks. No? Nope. Not before one or two in the morning. Oh. What time is it now? It's early. Want to stay here? Do you want to? Nope. Want to go back with me? Yes. Charlie. Charlie. I guess he's gone to the fights. Who's Charlie? It's my man. You say that like you're used to it. He's a guy who just got out of the jug. I give him a place to live. He'd cut off his right arm for me up to the elbow. Can I get you anything? No. Want to go any place? No. It's very nice here. Nice. Yes, it's a fine reproduction. I saw it and liked it. I want it. Just like that. You're a lucky man. I think so. What's it mean? Well, I don't know. Whatever you think it means. A lot of people walking, a couple of people riding. No, there's too much of that. It looks better with the lights off. Me too. So do I. Sounds good. Well, you're out of it. Music goes with rain. And a fireplace. That's a fake. Everything's a fake. I don't think you are. You never take a chance. You never know. Hey, things stick in your head. Yes. Just like you read about. Soft lights. Sweet music. Rain. Guess I'm kind of tired. Oh, excuse me. It seems like such a long time since I closed my eyes. I've got to go to the club. Why don't you get some sleep while I change my clothes? No, don't go away. Stay here and talk to me. Tell me things. Sweet and pretty things. I'll close my eyes and make believe they're true. I'm sorry. Look. Can I tell you why? No. Please. No. You don't like it here? Front door swings both ways. I asked for that. You got it. Will you let me tell you the way it What are you going to do? Tell me your life story? The part that counts. If you've got time to tell me, I've got time to listen. Oh, stop it. What are you trying to prove? That you're a great boy with the ladies? And who are you trying to prove it to? Me or yourself? Answer me. You know all the answers. I like you, Johnny O'Clock. If that's what you want to know. Put that in writing and I'll paste it in my scrapbook. I mean, that's why. What? I backed away from you. You're a strange kid. I'm a mixed up kid. Showcase the suckers. 
How long will you be gone? A couple of hours. Just long enough to get the play started. Long time? A couple of hours. Want to come with me? In these clothes? Johnny O'Clock and his rag doll. The rain stuff. It looks like it'll be a beautiful night. I guess the planes will be taking off. They'll be taking off tomorrow and the day after. I like you very much, Johnny. Like? That's just a word. Then let's be clear about it. Let's make the words mean what they say. If it's gonna be for laughs, okay. Only I want to be in on the joke right from the start. You speak your mind. All the time. Do you? I want you to stick around. Phil, I want a room for Miss Nancy Hobson. Well, we're pretty short. Make it the same floor as mine. What's the name again, please? Nancy Hobson. It'll be ready in a few hours. She'll be down at the register in a little while and uh, send us some flowers. And oh, yeah, that thief he got in the lobby, the jeweler, is he around? He's out to dinner. Well, when he comes back, tell him to come to the club and bring some jewelry. Tell him it's for me. You're early tonight, Mr. O'Croix. And I don't know where Bladen is. Nancy Hobson. She didn't leave. If she did, you wouldn't know where to find her. Bladen's dead. Body was fished out of the river a couple of hours ago. It was a sloppy job. Whatever they had tied to his legs came untied. Your flowers, sir? Give me a couple of those cigars. Yeah, take it out of this. No, no, no. It's all right. Is this a pinch? No, just some questions I'd like to ask you at headquarters. According to law, you can either come voluntarily oh, or quit your kidding. Let's go. Looks like you've been out fishing. Yeah, in sewers. Through with them? Yeah, we're through. Take them outside. Hi, on your feet. This is a statement? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Have him sign it. Let him go. Right. Give me a copy. Sit down. You don't think Charlie would turn stool? He once did time because he wouldn't. <laughs> Honor among thieves, huh? So you were right about your record. There's nothing on it. A couple of things when you were a kid. Nothing important. Oh, yeah. Discovered you were in the Army. Yeah, I did four years. What'd you learn? What I knew before I got in. Who killed Bladen? I don't know. How did you first meet him? Who? Bladen. How do you meet a cop? Or like him? Any cop. It says in my book that any confession obtained by so-called third-degree methods is not admissible in court. It's nice to know you can read. Mr. Marquettes. I got worried at the fight. How are they? They stunk. You want to see me? What's the rumble? Bladen. 
Oh, yeah, I heard about it. Good news travels fast. You through with me? No, I'd like to talk to both of you together. We might frame a story between us. I'll tell the story. Gonna take long? I got things to do. Yeah, you're a very important man, Mr. Marquette. It's a very busy man. I'll save you time. It's my opinion you both had reasons to murder Bladen. It's my opinion that you're whistling through your teeth. Let him whistle. I think you had more reason than he did. If you're gonna put it that way, copper, from here on in, you make with the lawyers. There are no charges being made. It's just an opinion. I'll call you if I need you. Actually, you both can leave if you want to. I just thought it'd be better if we discussed this thing, frankly and openly. Okay, we'll discuss it. Your deal. Yeah. Revenge, profit, jealousy. Those are the three most important motives for murder. Check revenge for you. Maybe profit. Check all three for you. Three strikes, I'm out. I've yet to hear a man make a joke in the electric chair. I think your motives coincided at a given moment. I'd like to try one of your cigars. It's not the cigars, it's logic. It's a cigar. First, let's examine the relationship between the two of you. Presumably, you owe Clark work for him. I'm his partner. Mm. Junior partner. What a partner. The true nature of the relationship is as follows. I hope you won't be insulted, Mr. Marquette. Go ahead, say anything you like. Marquette is the muscle, O'Clock the brain, the smart boy. In my opinion, Mr. O'Clock, you're being exploited. I do all right. I'm glad you're satisfied because in a situation such as this, it's necessary for both of you to trust each other. Isn't that true, Mr. Marquette? Profound silence. Up until now, while you've gotten away with many things, it's always been a little dangerous. Suddenly, a bright idea occurs to... Who? You said you'd tell us. Doesn't make any difference. A bright idea. Hire a legal killer. Hire Bladen. Take a cop who earns a couple of hundred a month and corrupt him. I've got the newspaper clippings in my file. They all read alike. Gambler shot for what? For resisting arrest? A lie. The truth, Gambler shot for opening when he was told not to. Who's your witness for all this? Bladen? I think he would have been a witness if he hadn't been murdered. The girl, Harriet Hobson, would have been one if she hadn't been murdered. Come again? The coroner's report revealed there was poison in her stomach. Now, it isn't logical to suppose that anyone intending to commit suicide by gas would also take poison, is it? No. It isn't. But it is logical to suppose that the fact that she was murdered... If she was murdered... Yeah. If she was murdered. She was murdered the same night Bladen was. Done very cleverly, too. The door locked, key left on the inside. A trick used by old hotel thieves. Bladen called for her every night, didn't he? I don't know. That's a lie. You do know. You know everything about her. Didn't he? Did he? I saw you with her the night it happened. This was in a person. I picked her up. Is your handwriting? Let me see that watch. Sure. Yeah, it's my handwriting. Did she give you that watch? A nice piece of jewelry. Yeah, she gave me the watch. Cost a lot of dough. A watch like that has to be special made. There was bad blood between you and Bladen on account of this girl. And he wanted to cut you out with Marquettes. At least that's my opinion. Can I have the watch back? Sure, you can have it back. That's all. You can go. Not you, Johnny. Mr. Marquettes. Unless he has anything to say to me. I got nothing to say. I can reach you if I want you. You can reach me. There's nothing you have to say to me? Spider-Man, spinning webs. 
I feel sorry for you. Yeah. You got tears in your eyes. I offered you a way out. All you had to say when I showed the watch was just what I said. Johnny O'Clock, the hero, he wouldn't talk. He'll erect a monument to me. A slab. When I first met you, I thought maybe I had some human feelings. A girl's been murdered. I know that. I see now I was wrong. You're a hood. A cheap hood, a cop hater. I should have treated you like one. Put that coin down and listen to me. You're mad. You're stupid. Smart boy. Stupid. Stupid? <laughs> How much money have you got? How much time have you got to live? Johnny. I waited for you, Johnny. Mike had us come out here? About five minutes ago. I didn't tell them nothing. He said anything to you? Who? Mike Kettis. No. They had me in there for two hours, like a stone wall. That was me. Where did Mike Kettis go? I don't know. I guess to the club. Where are you going, Johnny? I don't know. What do you know, Charlie? About what? Anything? If I knew anything, I'd tell you, wouldn't I, Johnny? Yeah, I guess you would. Hey, Cap. Where are you going, Johnny? I don't know, I told you. Ride right around for a while. Can I come along? Any calls for me? I'll see. Give me the airport. No, sir, no calls. The girl Nancy Hobson come down to register yet? Yes, sir. She came down. She said she'd do it later. Told me to tell you she went for a walk. Come on, baby. Cancel the reservation. But cancel it. Hello. Hello, airport. What about flight four? Okay. Johnny. Johnny. Hello. I went for a walk. Yeah, the clerk told me. It was nice out. Everything smells so clean and fresh, like the flowers you sent me. Is this Charlie? Yeah. Hello, Charlie. Johnny told me what a great friend of his you were. Your plane leaves in a half hour. What's that? Did you check for the baggage? Just like that? Yeah, just like that. I'll drive you. A walk? I said I'd drive you. All right. I just came along for the ride anyway. I'm going to the airport. Be back in about an hour. Okay. my car keys. Hello. I guess I got the wrong number. What's the matter, Charlie? A guy answered the phone? Yeah, yeah. See you later. Yeah, later. Johnny. No, I was tired. I had a headache. 
I fell asleep. It's late. Past 11. I'll get up. No, you have a headache. I'd like to get up. I had a dream. Yeah? Kido, take me out tonight. Take me someplace. I can't. The boys are all waiting for me. The big game. You know how those things are once you start them. I came up to say goodbye to you. Goodbye? Yeah. You know, I've been showing this off all day. It's a beautiful thing. Perfect workmanship. There's only two of this kind of watch around. Mine. And who else? Ditto, listen. Get on. I ought to kill you. It could be so easy, too. Just like this. On that white throat of yours. That pretty white throat of yours. This is Guido Marquette is saying this, your husband. The grace ball. That's what you thought all the time, didn't you? Take him. He don't count. Who is he? A grease ball. Go ahead. Say it. That's what you've been thinking ever since I met you. Give me a better reason than I got. Say it. A clock, a clock, a clock. All the time it kept ticking in my head. He had nothing to do with it, only me. Only you. There's never been anything between us ever since. All the time. Tell him to come up here, ask him. Johnny's dead. I just heard about it on my way up. Some guys knocked him off. When did this happen? 11.30. By this watch. Now get out of here. I'll get my things. You'll go the way you came. Guido. Guido, listen. Get out of here. Anything you say, anything you want. What flight, please? Four. Thank you. Flight four now loading at gate three. All passengers aboard, please. You'll miss your plane. to get on that plane. This is why you wanted me to go. You're crazy. Because you knew. I didn't know a thing. Don't lie to me now. Look, you've only known me for less than a day. Make out you never met me. Make out this week only had six days in it. Listen, only once before was it everything with me. The beginning, the end, day and night. I never thought it could happen to me again. But it has, Johnny. And I'm not going to lose it. Will you get on that plane? No. With me, it's trouble and grief in capital letters. You got some place to go, go. No place to go. Nancy Hobson. What do you want? Charlie, I've got to talk to you. It's about Johnny. What about him? He's hurt. 
He's hurt bad. He wants you to get him a doctor. Where is he? I'll take you. Wait a minute. Still warm, Charlie. Couldn't wait, could you? Take it. My Kenneth, I want you to tell me. I tell you this next time you won't be lucky. Johnny, stop it! Shut up! Why did you finger me? Why shouldn't I? Johnny O'Clock with the girls. Johnny O'Clock with the clothes. I'll get you out of the job. Here, Charlie. Boy, here's a bone. Here's a shirt. Here's a bed. Keep it straight. A cop comes in. Who gets pushed around? Charlie. Where's Johnny O'Clock? Where he always is. Looking out for himself. Everybody else let you rot. When you got out, you went on your knees to me. Okay, okay. I did like you do. I traded you in for someone who could do me some more good. My pal. Nobody's your pal now. You're dead. Lay down. You and me both. Now, I'll tell you why you did it. You were at the club last night after it folded. That's when Bladen got it. He had nothing to do with it. You knew about it. That was enough. I had nothing to do with it. You had to stick with Mark Kettis or he's back up the river. Johnny, listen. I'm a two-time loser. This time would have been life. You couldn't have stopped it. I'd have gone nuts up there, John. Then you were there. Not when the girl was murdered. I didn't see nothing with the girl. When I heard she was murdered. Who was murdered? All right, let's get out of here. Nancy. Sick. I feel sick. I'm sick. Cut it out. Where are we going? Around the world in 30 days. Johnny, tell me. We're running. Far and fast. Far and fast. Go ahead, say it. Say what? What you got on your mind? I want to get out of here. Driver, pull up here. Want to sit down? I used to come here as a kid, to play and to hide. <laughs> Nothing changes. The big green bed of a big-hearted town, everybody's equal, rich and poor. On a hot night, anybody can sleep on the grass. Who killed her? Mark Kettis, I think. You think? Nobody will talk. The police? They think, too. I don't know, they can't prove. How much do you know, Johnny? More than they do. And if you told? Marquettes and I were partners. If Koch didn't sink me, he would. You ever wait for a guy in stir? I waited for a guy in the war. And Marquettes. What happens to him? You get paid off. When the time comes. When the time comes? You don't get it. I get it. Nancy. Nancy. I get it, I said. No, you don't. Now, first, I'll go settle up with him. Settle up with him? He owes me money. You'd go back for that. It's my money, isn't it? It's you who don't get it. What do you think we're going to do? Ride in freight cars, live in furnished rooms? We're going to have everything. Except a conscience. Well, what do you want me to do? You tell me. Nothing. I don't want you to do anything. Play hero for you? Dead hero? Not for me. Don't do anything for me. Don't you think I want to pay him off myself? Don't you think I will in my own way? But I'll pick the spot, and I'll pick the time, and I'll get away with it. All my life, I've operated that way. And all the time, I've won. What have you won? Whatever I've wanted to. I'm no fool. No, you're no fool. You're smart. Stop it. My sister's been murdered, but Johnny O'Clock's no fool. Stop it. I'll shout it. They'll all wake up, even my sister. Johnny O'Clock's no fool. Stop it. Nobody in the whole world for me but Johnny O'Clock. That's right, baby. Nobody else for you. 
or for me. Wait here. I'll be back in a little while. Keep it running. Listen, Johnny. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe you ought to forget it. My dough, baby. I'm going to get it. You're at the airport. What happened? Did he tell you anything about your sister? Why did he go in there? Johnny O'Clock's girl. Go down to the kitchen and make some more. Anything else you want? No, just coffee. Hello, Guido. Johnny? You can have my hand, O'Clock. I've had enough. No, thanks, Turk. You know I never gamble. Did you want to see me about anything, Johnny? Yeah, I want to see you. Feel me out. Your bet. Well, of course you blew one. I'll see it. I'll raise it a grand. Good. I'll play. What's on your mind, Johnny? I came for my end. You going away? Yep. All right, you're entitled to it. It's your money. Combination, Johnny. Help yourself. You want to count it? No, I'll take your word. You always had a lot of nerve, Johnny. Didn't take any nerve, you know. I figure it's worth it to you. See me go. So you're going away? Yeah, far. Can't be too far for me. For me either. Well, I guess this is it. So long, Guido. Now we're quits. Yeah, now we're quits. So long, Johnny. Goodbye now. Stand still, Johnny. You're not going no place. You don't know. Why not? Let him go. Turn around, Johnny. I don't want to give it to you in the back. What do you win if you shoot? My wife. Now tell him. Tell me. He won't come back. You'll go after it's him. It's over. In your eyes, I can see it ain't. Ever since he first walked in, I seen it in your eyes. Turn around, Johnny. Twenty years together down the drain. There was nothing between us but cash. Now a dame. My wife, mine. This is just what Koch wanted. What's happening? You were like a sucker fall for it. He was right. He was right about a lot of things, wasn't he, Guido? You'll never know. I know. You gave it to Bladen. Ask him when you see him. And then to the kid, Harriet. She was waiting for Bladen. She was there when it happened. Who are you talking to, the walls? You. You took her home, put her lights out, made it look like suicide. Hotel thieves trick. Who did he mean, Guido? You left your calling card, I found it. A brand new Mexican coin. The dying man makes a statement. Get out of here, Nell. No, Guido, let him go. If you do, I promise. Don't beg for me. It could have been nobody else. Get out of here, Nell. But you. Nobody else could have killed that kid. What was that? 
was that? Somebody's got a nasty cough. Let's get out of champagne, Court. Johnny. Get away from me. Listen. You did it, didn't you? Johnny. You got what you wanted, didn't you? When they come, the police. Don't you get away from I'll me. Don't tell them how it happened. They won't hold you. Now it's all yours. Yours and mine. Yours. You can have it. Johnny, if you walk out of me now, I swear I'll tell them that you... I know what you'll tell them. Now get away from that door before I give it to you. I should anyway. <laughs> It was Johnny O'Clock. He tried to hold up my husband to steal money from him. My husband wouldn't give it to him, and he shot him in cold blood. Cold blood. He went out the back way through the kitchen. He's hurt. Thank you. Nobody now. Just me alone. You're not alone. Yeah, take this. It's money. Lots of money. Keep it. It's a good thing I got money, isn't it? Take it and run, you little fool. I just killed my caddis. You said that... I know what I said. Big joke. I said I'd pick the spot, pick the time. She picked it for me. She? Yeah, she. The form chart was wrong. It's still wrong. Plea self-defense. Bertie guilty. I know what I know. Trouble and grief, Johnny. You said that yourself. I said, okay. I meant what I said. Now I've got to prove it to you. I don't care what you do, where you go. Will I... you run? I can't. The bullet hit me, too. Side. You're out of your mind. That's right. Crazy. Crazy smart. Put that gun down. I'll tell you what you're going to do, Koch. You're going to walk me out the front door, past everybody. If they stop us, you'll tell them I gave myself out. You arrested me. Do you think I'd say that? Listen to me. I got a bullet in my gut and fire in my brain. It wouldn't take much for me to let you have it right now. Johnny, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're saying. All I know is in this gun. All I know is I got to bring you in. When we get to the door, I'll tell them to shoot. All right, so they'll shoot. No, it's not all right. Not for me, it isn't. Oh, Johnny, give yourself up. Nancy, I haven't got a chance. All my life, this guy's been chasing me. Johnny, it's the pain. You're weak. You're hurt. I know what I'm saying. He's been looking to get something on me. Now he's got it. Even if I told the truth. What is the truth? It was self-defense. 
His wife said you shot him in cold blood for money. It's a lie. If it's a lie, it'll come out. In storybooks. This is too good a frame. Nobody's out to frame you, old clock. If you want him alive, tell him to drop that gun. No. I don't want him alive. I want him dead. I want to cry for him. I haven't had enough tears. I want more. I want to be able to say to you know who I'm crying for. Johnny O'Cluck. You know who he was? The smartest man in the world. I know because he told me so. Johnny O'Cluck's no fool, he said. No fool. That's why he's dead. Because he's no fool. day. Not too hot. Want to bet? Bet? I'll lay your odds. 